Hi guys, it's Dr. Chan here. Today I'm gonna share with you some of the things that you can expect after your prostate resection surgery. So these are things that I tell my patients. They may vary with the things that your particular surgeon may tell you. So definitely check in with them if you are undergoing this procedure. But I think this just kind of gives you an idea of what to look forward to. Usually I keep most of my patients in the hospital for one night after surgery just to flush their bladder out with irrigation. They'll go home with the catheter in place for about three to four days. This just kind of helps while the prostate is swollen and there's still some bleeding going on. It just kind of helps with the recovery. Clean around the tip of the catheter with a washcloth and some soap and water. And then whenever the bag gets full, just empty it. So it's normal to see blood in your urine for several weeks after a transurethral resection of the prostate. If the color of the urine is more dark red like ketchup rather than light red or pink like cranberry juice, uh, then it's important to give your surgeon a call. It's also common to experience a lot of burning with urination, frequency of urination and urgency after the procedure. You may feel that you have to go to the bathroom more frequently. This is usually just irritation from the surgery and may last one to two weeks. In terms of your diet, no special diet is needed. It may be helpful to increase your intake of fiber or a laxative type supplement like Colace or Miralax that you can pick up over the counter just to help with bowel movements. It's also important to try to drink more fluids than usual so that you can increase your urine output to kind of help flush out any blood clots that may form. In terms of your activity, uh, I usually recommend people not to lift anything more than 10 pounds for about two weeks. No strenuous activity, which is basically anything more than walking on a gentle level surface and no sexual activity. So I like to wait until the urine is clear for several days in a row uh, before you start resuming these activities. The more straining that you do, especially with activities like weightlifting or riding a bicycle, the longer the bleeding will occur and the longer the recovery will take. Showering and bathing are okay, even with the catheter in place. In terms of your medications, you can resume your prior medications. If you're taking any prostate medications like finasteride, Flomax, doxazosin, terazosin, dutasteride, you can stop taking these. Now specifically for blood thinner medications like Warfarin, Pradaxa, Eliquis, or Lovenox, hold off on taking these until you follow up in clinic to just kind of see how the bleeding in the urine is progressing. Aspirin is okay to restart. When you start the, restart these blood thinner medications, it's not uncommon to have some bleeding occur in your urine even though your urine has remained yellow for several days. In terms of post-operative prescriptions, usually I'll call in some antibiotics for about five days just to make sure that you don't get a urinary tract infection, pain medication, and then also important is to pick up some over-the-counter laxative or stool softener like Colace or Miralax. Specific problems to kind of watch out for, if you have a fever more than 100.4, give the office a call, inability to urinate, excessive bleeding, chest pain, or shortness of breath. These are all kind of things to kind of be concerned about and to watch out for and let us know if any of them occur after your transurethral resection prostate surgery. Well, thanks for watching. If you have any more specific questions, please leave a comment down in the comment section below. If you found this content helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks.